Hello again, it's Chris, aka Taka, and here's more of my toy collection. And I have this marked cartoon characters, but I noticed as I poured it into the extra tote, there definitely were some of my advertising collection in here too. So, um, I think when I set up for one of our last concerts where I decorated with a lot of my animals, um, they all got mixed up. So, I got Dumbo. And this one is an official Walt Disney one. It's really nice because it's got like this lovely silky fabric on the ears. Gotta pull the other tote closer so when I start tossing them, they'll make it. Uh, here's Cindy Bear from the Yogi Bear Show. I actually am not sure if I have Yogi or Boo Boo yet. We will see, I guess. Here is Bartok the Bat from Anastasia. I don't know if his voice box works anymore. Nope, but you actually can access him to change the batteries. Where some of the other characters I got. And they do actually make him quite detailed. They even give him the spots on his head. Uh, that, I believe, was actually the fast food toy. Um, this is just a normal kangaroo. Um, I uh, bought a lot of animals when we did the animals concert to fill in the ones I didn't already have because we were doing a song with kangaroos in it which I was one of my main songs because I was doing this uh, interesting sound effect in the song with a wobble board and some of my favorite Looney Tunes characters Marvin the Martian and more importantly Canine the dog. He is one of my top ten cartoon characters uh, of all time. He's only in like three cartoons, I think. Marvin's got quite a bit more, but I absolutely love Canine. Um, and it's always nice when I can find smaller versions of the toys. Take up less room. Here is Pepe Le Pew, a.k.a. the Stalker of Looney Tunes. Um, it's kind of disturbing sometimes to go back and watching cartoons. And realize Pepe Le Pew is definitely a stalker. <sighs> uh, here's Hammy, I believe. I believe his name's Hammy from Over the Edge. Doesn't say his name, but definitely says Over the Edge. He was the um, ADHD squirrel. Oh, look at that one. I got Bozo the Clown. I remember watching Bozo the Clown when I was little. I love that they didn't just put the hat on his head. Because he would look weird with it on his head. But they have him waving one. But he's got really big red feet. His hair's kind of cool too. And Rue was in the other box we just looked at. And here's Kanga. So apparently he didn't want to stay with mom. That, that, that must be it. And you might not recognize this one. This is Salem the Cat from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Okay. Got some Muppets in here. Kermit is not in this box. He's sitting on my bed downstairs. So, uh, Here's uh, Rover from Sesame Street playing the saxophone. And I've yet to do it, but I keep threatening if I, you know, get really crafty to make him Eddie from Rocky Horror by putting Eddie's son thing on the back. He's playing the saxophone and wearing a leather jacket. Again, he probably does have all this activation stuff, but I probably took the batteries out long ago or they're dead. Um, but, ooh, that did not sound good. Uh, got Harry Potter owl, got Hedwig. It's actually really one of the softest toys. And we've got this Swedish chef. And he still even has his tag on him. Um, I love the fact his apron does cover up. 
He's got this cute little bow tie. And look at the crazy pattern. He's got plaid pants and a striped shirt. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, um, this is Elliot from Open Season. The poor uneven boy who only has one antler. Here's one of my Scooby-Doo's. I'm sure I have more than one. Of course, I love this one because it's sleepy time, Scooby-Doo. Plus, you know, my name's Crest. I like Crescent Moons. So, but I assume he's holding the bag to fill it with Scooby Snacks. Um, but you see, I didn't even bother taking the tag off. And then, this one, you'll only recognize if you like game shows. It's an official press your luck whammy. I would always cheer for whammies. I would literally be sitting there uh, going whammy, 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 where everyone else is going, no whammy, no whammy. I'd be like, no, I want to see what kind of stupid skit's going to happen now. Uh, here's Sebastian from The Little Mermaid. Um, this is just a regular alligator again. Picked him up when I was doing the animal show. He, he is kind of interesting in the fact that he has a zipper pull. And you can stuff him full of things. So you can be crazy and make him eat something else. I know their idea was probably so kids could stuff their goodies in here. But let's be serious. Um, more likely kids decide to have it eat other toys. Here is Owl from Winnie the Pooh. He actually has some pretty good weight on him. He actually sits up pretty well. Here's... Wow, Marty. Marty, yeah, Marty from Ma Madagascar. I probably have Alex somewhere in here, and maybe Gloria. I don't think I have Melvin, the giraffe. And I think I only have Private Al, the penguins. Oh, here's one of my advertising collection. Elsie the cow from Ford Dairy Farms. Yep, Borden. Got Heathcliff the cat. I was addicted to that show, of course. My dad is a Garfield freak, so I started out with Garfield, and then Garfield and Heathcliff were on in the same half hour when I was growing up. Here's one of my cross collectibles. I told you, Pink Panther, uh, in the last video. Um, Pink Panther is also an advertising guy for insula insulation for your house. I think he even did Sweet and Low, and I think there was another one with the pink theme. I'm sure he's advertised for breast cancer research at some point, too. Then we have another pink kitty cat, Snagglepuss, from Hanna-Barbera cartoons. And of course, I always love Snagglepuss. He is a lion, by the way. He is officially a lion. Um, because he was the stage actor extraordinaire. And I always love acting. So, and some more advertising. Uh, Campbell's Kid. There's probably a male Campbell's kid, too. Oh, found him. For Campbell's soup. Told you, my, my toys all got mixed up. But I do have quite a lot. I have, I think, six totes total right now. Plus what's in my room on my shelves. So this shall be interesting. Okay. This is an original tag from Shirt Tales. And... I got this when I was little and was obsessed with shirt tails, but I also, my thing I always collected as a kid was tigers. So, cross collectible for me. Average cartoon character I loved, and he's a tiger. Here's Puss from Puss in Boots. Although I think, I think this is from the uh, Shrek 2 Puss in Boots. But they gave him a sword, which is kind of sad. A little feather in his cap. Cape. No capes. Sorry. 
but he's actually really detailed on the face. Like his eyes are stitched on. Okay, who next? Oh, why not the donkey from Shrek? This is also from Shrek 2 toy. And again, really well stitched. Eye detail. And not a talker. I have a little figurine of him at Tops. Oh, I gotta find the rest of this series. I mean, I do have Kermit, and I do have a little one of the other ones, but I really need an animal like this. Um, this is official Muppet, and I mean, they really scream it. That's the tag that's supposed to stay with it, and that's the tag that came with it. But I do like that he's in this cute little, like, outfit with the collar and the plaid. And who doesn't like Gonzo? Oops, someone jumped out of the other one. Here's my Valentine's Day Woodstock. Woodstock playing Cupid. So it has red wings. Oh, oh, look, I do have Yogi to go with Cindy, but it's definitely from a different drawing version. I'm sure Yogi had to have advertised for something. <sighs> He ate so much food, you know he had to have advertised for something. See, I I was good. I saw Speedy Gonzalez, a different version of him, out reminiscing on something like, I think I already heard Speedy. Speedy Gonzalez. Again, I'm going to have to watch all these videos and write down what I have. Because I'm sure there might be some repeats somewhere in here. <laughs> so we got Speedy. Got another Hannah Barbera. And this one tells you how to collect them all. This is Oggy Doggy? Yeah. No, no. Doggy Daddy. Doggy Daddy. Um, so, yeah. I haven't found Booby yet. I'm pretty sure I must have Huckleberry Hound somewhere. Top Cat would be awesome if I dropped that one. And Oh, I don't know. Do I have Hong Kong Fui? I guess we'll eventually see him once I go through all these jokes. And then we have a Boo from Aladdin with his Fez. Because who doesn't love a fez? Because fezes are cool. Yes, I watched Doctor Who. Here's, oh, see, look, Huckleberry Finn right there with his tag. Well, Huckleberry Hound based on Huckleberry Finn. But that southern draw, I love his little cap. And his little bow tie, because bow ties are cool. Sorry, had to say it. Oh, got Sheldon from Over the Hedge. Wonder if I have RJ the Raccoon. Not sure, actually. But I like the detail on the shell. Toss. Here's one of my elves. This is my elf puppet. I do have a giant elf that sits next to my peanut from Jeff Dunham in the living room. So you got this. And it says Orbiters, Team Orbiters, and he's number one. He has a little baseball cap. It's out. Oh. oh, you go with these two. All right, so I got some obviously handmade ones. You used to get these patterns all the time to sew together. Yeah, Raggedy Ann and Andy, and most importantly, the Raggedy Dog. He shows up in the Halloween Raggedy Ann, at the very least. I remember him from that. But I really do love the dog best. And speaking of dogs, we have Mr. Peabody from the Rocky and Bullwinkle Show. Oh, officially the Rocky and Bullwinkle and Friends show. And let's promote smoking with children and give him a pipe. I think that's because they wanted to be like Sherlock Holmes smart. And this cute little St. Bernard is actually Beethoven. Remember that movie and all its sequels? I don't think I've even seen one all the way through, but he is adorable. He's a Dakin. That's one actually heavy collar on him. 
Oh, and speaking of Rocky and Bullwinkle, I found Bullwinkle in here. Hi, my name is Bullwinkle. I love how they have really put that on the tag. Like you wouldn't have known that. And then found Piglet down there from Winnie the Pooh. And then this is one of those unique things you just pick up because it's like a quarter. This is called the Party Pal. And this is Shopaholic Poodle. Look out, the savvy shopping pooch is on the prowl. She knows what she wants and knows where to get it. Charge cards in hand. This clever canine can smell a bargain a mile away. And her shirt says, it was on sale. And I kind of had to get this because we have a joke in my family that no one knows how to shop unless they go to the clearance or sell racks. So, plus, look at those high heels. Really? High heels on a toy. That's like the third toy in this box, actually. And to go with Bullwinkle, even have the same kind of shirts on for W, Rocket J Squirrel, the Flying Squirrel. That's actually a very detailed hat. It's got the things coming off of it, too, for flying. Then we have Sylvester the Cat and Foghorn Leghorn. And from comics, Hagar the Horrible, because it's actually a Universal Studios Islands of Adventure toy. That's how someone would have originally picked him up before I found him at the Rummage Cell. I'm sure I got that one at. Told you, most of these are Rummage Cell finds. Uh, I just a few more in this one, because there were some bigger ones in here. But, um... So we have Clifford, the big red dog, ironically really small in comparison to my Kool-Aid man. Kool-Aid man's heavy enough where he might put a hole in the wall. <laughs> but he's got his Hawaiian shirt. Stop getting undressed. Put that back on. There we go. And yes, he has a thing to tilt. I think I have a smaller Kool-Aid man too in another tote, but... Kind of have to have him. And then I got Fred, one Wonder Bread, Freddy the Fresh Guy. And they actually have that engraved in the back. Now, I didn't actually get raised on Wonder Bread. We got raised on whatever cheap crap we had. I know this is supposed to be cheap bread, but somehow our generic local markets are even cheaper than Wonder Bread. So, but he's very colorful too. I kind of like his happy expression. And then the last thing in here is actually one of my childhood toys. Uh, as her cape is falling off. This is Katie. And I believe my mom said, had made her to be a squirrel. Because it's bigger tail. So this is actually one of my childhood toys. So her cape is falling apart though. Oh dear. I see I'm going to have to leave you out and fix you because the ribbon has now disintegrated. So I'm going to have to sew on some more ribbon to tie that on. But that was the last of this tote. Uh, probably another week or so, maybe a few days depending on how the weather goes. Um, I'll pull out a few more totes and do a couple more videos. Um, I think I have about four more to go. <laughs> I don't know. There's at least two right by the door in the garage and two in there. Yeah, so at least four more. So we're halfway through my toy collection. And again, this doesn't count. The ones in my bedroom. Yay. Or, you know, pack somewhere else. Who the hell knows? But again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.